There's a lot of emphasis in trying to get women to start in engineering, but then if you're then going to lose that when they then have children by not allowing them back, you know, it's a huge waste. It, it, it doesn't make sense to put the effort in at the start and then not keep them there. I work two and a half days a week, so I do two days in the office in Bristol and I do half a day from home. I'm also a yoga teacher, so I actually do teach um, yoga classes on the days that I don't work as well. And I think if you give people space, they're more likely to stay in their career longer. I think otherwise other interests can almost overtake what they want to do, whereas this way you get to do, you get to do both. One of the main challenges that we have with regard to attracting and uh, retaining staff is the shortage of available uh, engineering talent in the UK. And akin to that, of course, um, engineering is more popular with men. So that gives us another challenge in terms of recruiting um, from a diverse pool of people. So having uh, understanding where people are coming from, where they are in their lives and what they want from their working environment and being able to try and meet that as best possible, um, that helps us to retain uh, the best talent. We recently have started advertising, so flexible options will be considered and in all of our permanent roles. Now making things that overt and that obvious in, in our recruitment campaigns has really helped and I'm delighted to say that we, we have just recruited a really key role for us where the gentleman wanted to work four days a week and this was a really difficult to recruit key skill set. In Atkins the support is very much there from the top, I'm delighted to say because this isn't a HR initiative. Whilst HR can facilitate and support this, this has to be led and demonstrated from the top and right the way through the line management and the organisational structure. Without that support, it's just a policy on a shelf. I work three days a week and I work Monday, Wednesday and Thursday to try and help um, the clients by being there throughout the week. Part-time working hasn't really affected my um, career progression. In fact, it could almost say it's, um, it's improved it because I've had to delegate more work um, and that's allowed me to, to bring more people under me. So as a line manager myself, I've understood the difficulties um, of having part-time workers, um, but have also been able to overcome those um, within my own teams and um, I found that you get real loyalty and value from those individuals that you trust to work part-time. The reason I'm at Atkins is because about 15 years ago I had a debilitating illness which meant the only way I, I could continue in engineering was to work part-time. Uh, I retired from Airbus and then I went to another, another company and that company was unable to support me. Uh, and very quickly I was compressing five days into three days. So I left. Luckily, uh, Atkins appeared on the scene, and that was 10 years ago. And they offered me a part-time position uh, in a technical role, which uh, I grasped because I could see that was an opportunity to continue in my career of engineering. I started work 49 years ago as an apprentice, and it was 100% uh, male-dominated. It's changed in, since the millennium over the past 15 or 20 years, and I think What's caused that has been a shortage of engineering skills. What I'd like to see is, is a workforce that is highly engaged and, and having long-term fulfilling careers with us. I wouldn't consider going back to a non-flexible working environment. As we can carry on, um, this is going to become a competitive advantage for us in recruiting and retaining people. And if we were to chop that off, we would lose a lot of our great talent.